Hi folks, Carol Ann here from SassyTownHouseLiving.com and today I'm pretty excited to be able to show you this awesome Instagram hack and if you're like me and you like to post photos from your computer or your laptop to Instagram directly there's a quick and easy way to get that done. Some of you may know this trick, some of you may not. For those of you that don't know this, I think you'll definitely be thrilled when you learn how to do it. Now, previously, I was using a third-party app called Grambler, and there was a lot of talk about how Instagram will shadow ban you for using third-party apps for um, sharing posts instead of you know using your mobile phone directly. And I'm not sure if that's exactly true, but there was some talk about it on the internet. So I was determined to find a quick, easy, and safe way to be able to share my photos from my computer to Instagram, and I found it. Now, if you're like me, you do all of your editing to your photos on your computer and then you like to share them to Instagram. Maybe you don't like the Instagram filters or the apps that are on your mobile device for editing and maybe you know you like to use Lightroom or Photoshop like I do and get your photo all ready to go and then share it. Well it's really annoying to have to send it to your mobile phone and share from there. Why do that when there's such an easy way to do it and you can do that easily from Chrome using their developer mode. So I'm going to show you exactly how we can get that done today. So what you want to do is just open up a tab in Google Chrome and hover over the three little dots that are up in the right hand corner here and drop down that menu and then just click on more tools and then navigate to developer tools now developer tools are used by developers and they create and test apps using this so what you want to do next is there's two little icons over here and you want to make sure that you're looking at the mobile device now Instagram will not know the difference between you posting from using this little tool or doing it directly from your phone. There's no way, there's no difference. So that's why it's very safe and effective to do it this way. And it's very easy. So as I said, you wanna make sure that you're in the mobile view. This is not the mobile view. So when you click on this icon again, you will see that you have the mobile view here. And when you hover over it, don't worry about all those colored blocks. That's for developers. So once you're here, then you want to simply navigate to your Instagram page. And when you do that, you will see there's your Instagram account. And it looks exactly the same way that it does on your mobile device. It's a mirror image. You still have the same tools to use. You can click on the home button you can search and you can upload photos and that's what we're going to be doing today so you just have to find the photo that you want to share and navigate to it by simply clicking this plus sign okay so we're that's what we're going to do we're going to navigate to the photo that we want to use and once you locate the photo that you want to use you just click it and then click open like you would do any other photo. You can also crop it or move it around the same way that you would if you were using your mobile device. So once you get it in position, you just click next. Now's the time for you to type in any of the text and I'm just going to copy some text that I have here from a blog post I was working on and then we're going to paste it and then we can start to put our hashtags in the same exact way so now we have all our text and our hashtags and all we have to do is click share and it's done it's that easy and you'll see when you click on your account there's your post and all your text and your hashtags so I hope that you enjoyed this and it's extremely easy to do and very safe. You won't get shadow banned for using this. You won't have any issues. And it's just delightful to be able to finally share your photos directly to Instagram and have it take seconds. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you could please subscribe to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel and we all know how that can be. And if you can thumbs up and like this video, I would appreciate that as well. Thanks again and have yourself a great and safe day.